Good morning, guys. So we are going to start today by reading a story called Cinderella. And this story is going to be important to us because we're going to be reading all kinds of different Cinderella stories from all over the world. And we actually have a Cinderella story for every continent. And so when we read the different ones, you'll see how different cultures change the story a little bit and how the characters are a little bit different or the story's a little bit different. But I wanted to start today with the story that you guys are probably familiar with. This is the original Cinderella that you probably heard of and you might have seen the movie Cinderella about. But we wanna make sure everybody understands it because we're gonna be really working on comparing this story to the other story so that we can see what's the same and what's different. Another thing that we're gonna be working on this week is describing a character, okay? So we can describe a character by their physical traits, which means what they look like. So for example, if we looked at a picture of Cinderella, we could say that she's pretty or she has dark hair or she's tall. That's what you see on the outside. But you can also describe a character by their personality traits. And that's what we're gonna work, work more on this week. That's by what they do, what they say, how do they make you feel when you're reading the story. So for example, if we're talking about Cinderella, you might say that she's kind or that she's hardworking. Those are personality traits that, that you would see. And then maybe if we're talking about the stepsisters, you might say that they're mean or they're greedy or different things like that. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be comparing those characters. And Cinderella is gonna be different and have different personality traits depending on which Cinderella story we're working on. But we're gonna get more to that later. So let's go ahead and read Cinderella. A long time ago, in a place not too far from here, there lived a beautiful young lady named Cinderella. Cinderella was beautiful inside and out. Everyone who knew her loved her. Well, almost everyone. Cinderella lived with her stepmother and stepsisters, and they didn't like Cinderella at all. They were jealous of her and they treated her very poorly. They made Cinderella do all the work around the house and gave her old, ragged, old clothes to wear. But all that was about to change. In the castle near Cinderella's home lived a good and kind prince who wanted to find a wife. So right there, they're giving us some words that describe the prince, his personality. They said good and kind. The prince invited all the ladies of the land to the ball where he might get to know them. Cinderella desperately wanted to go to the ball, but her stepsisters would never allow that. As the stepsisters left for the ball, Cinderella fell to the ground and cried. But then Cinderella heard a loud thump, looked up and discovered a fairy godmother standing over her. Get up! commanded the fairy godmother. You are a good person and you deserve a good life. When Cinderella stood up, she was dressed in a beautiful gown. When she ran out the front door, there was a magical pumpkin waiting, which whisked her off to the ball. How exciting. Cinderella was about to meet her prince. From the moment that Cinderella entered the ball to the moment she left the ball, the prince could not take his eyes from her face or turn his ears from her voice. The two talked, laughed, danced, and fell madly in love. Cinderella wanted to dance all night with the prince, but she also knew that she must leave the ball at midnight, for her fairy godmother had warned her to do so. As the clock struck twelve, Cinderella... Cinderella remembered the warning and ran from the ball. The prince ran after her, begging her to stay. Cinderella kept running, and she jumped into the carriage. Her glass slipper fell from her foot, and the prince ran to grab it. Good thing, since this glass slipper was about to change their lives. Knowing that only the lost princess would fit the glass slipper, the prince went out to search the land for Cinderella. He searched high and low, and eventually, reaching Cinderella's home, he knew her the minute he saw her. When the prince asked Cinderella if he might slip the, place the slipper on her foot, her stepsisters laughed, as though he was crazy, 
Cinderella could never be the lost princess, they thought. But she was, and the slipper fit. Having found Cinderella, the prince was overjoyed. He vowed to never lose her again, and he didn't. And they got married, and they lived happily ever after. The end. So this is our original Cinderella story. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go to Seesaw, and I'm going to have some pictures of the characters. And what you're going to do is you're going to move the words that to over that describe those characters. So for example, if we're talking about kind, you could describe Cinderella as kind or even the prince. But if we're saying mean, you might describe who? That's right, the stepsisters. All right, guys, great job. And I can't wait for you guys to hear some of our other Cinderella stories.